Hi, I'm Eleanor. I'm Chris, this is Eiffel Science, and today we're going to be talking about how the centre of the Earth is younger than the surface. The centre of the Earth is around two and a half years younger than the surface because of time dilation. About 4.6 billion years ago, a hot cloud of dust orbiting the Sun coalesced and cooled. As it did so, the heavier elements formed the centre of the Earth, while lighter elements formed the mantle and the thin layer of crust formed on the surface. This all took place at the same time, with the minor caveat that the Earth has accumulated more matter in the intervening years. Including a potential collision with a Mars-sized planet, Thea, which likely formed the Moon. So if that happened at the same time, how is the core now younger? In the 1960s, theoretical physicist Richard Feynman gave a lecture in which he stated that the centre of the Earth is one or two days younger than the surface because of the time-dilating effects of gravity. According to general relativity, time moves slower in stronger gravitational fields. Given that objects with more mass have more gravity, and the heavy core of Earth is made of an iron-nickel alloy far denser than the surface, time moves slower near the centre of the Earth. But it turns out that Feynman was wrong. In 2016, a team of scientists checked the calculations and found that he was actually out by several years. According to the team's calculations, the difference is pretty minute. Nobody at the centre of the Earth is going to notice a tiny fraction of a second missing for every year. However, over 4.6 billion years, those fractions of a second add up, with the team calculating that the centre of the Earth is now about two and a half years younger than the surface. Meanwhile, the surface of the Sun was calculated to be around 40,000 years older than its centre. Thank you for watching. This has been Eiffel Science. Be sure to subscribe for more videos.